haul from Sephora. Okay, so I first got these freebies. This is what it comes with. It's if you spend $35 or over. For myself, I'm so excited I got the birthdaybomb.com. I love this packaging. Let's open it. Kind of hard to do it with one hand. Look how cute this is. First squeeze. It's kind of hard to see, but it has sparkles in it. It smells so good. Love it. Next, I got my cousin this rare beauty blush. Shade Happy. I got this for her because it's her birthday coming up. So cute. And that was my haul. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching. Girls, I just got back from Sephora. <laughs> Let me show you what I bought. So basically, it was $1,218. The first thing I got is this Fenty Beauty skin product. I love their brand, but I want to try skincare. Next is these viral scents that I see everywhere. And this one smells so good. Next is this SK2 facial treatment mask. I've been looking for a great mask for a long time, so I'm excited to try this brand. But so far, these Dr. Dart masks are my absolute favorite. I've been using them for years. Then I got this Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. Let me show you how beautiful it is. Like, I'm literally in love. Look at all the colors. Of course, I got the most popular Cosas products. I can't wait to try them. This lip balm looks like a vape, honestly. <laughs> of course, Paula's choice liquid exfoliant. I'll see you guys in the part two of the haul. I didn't really need to go to Sephora, but I mean, it was right there, so. The first thing I got was the Givenchy powder in the shade three, pink. Then I got the Grande Lash Serum because I stopped getting lash extensions, and this has helped a lot. Then I got the Detox Way Shampoo because my hairstylist said I needed it, so. Then I got the First Aid Beauty anti chafe Stick. This helps at Disney when I wear skirts, dresses, shorts. For my thick thigh girlies, approved. And I know my receipt's long, but I have gift cards for store credit, so girl math, it was free. And that was my squirrel. Now with all the good Sephora sets, I had to get my hands on one, and this is the one that, that was calling my name. This one is the Sparkly Clean Sephora Favorite Set. Let's see what's inside. The bag is super cute. It's got little gold hardware. It says Sephora. It's like the plush. Okay, let's see what we're working with on the inside. This is what drew me to it. The Say Blush in Cheeky. This was like the main reason I wanted this. And this. This is the Merit Lipstick in Lavenue. That is gorgeous. I know, Jack. It is. And we have the Cali Ray Glazed and Infused Pumping Lip Gloss in Taco Tuesday. A Kosas Air Brow. Just a brow gel. A Rose Ink Mascara. And then this Cactus Water Toner. It's a lactic acid. I almost dropped it. Lactic Acid Toner by Freck Beauty. This is a cute little set. I'm so excited. Hey, guys. I have a Sephora haul. Okay, so first thing I got is this spray. I have no idea what this says, but it sprays really cool. Like, it looks like hairspray and just, yeah. Okay, next thing I got is this for my razor burn. This really isn't that interesting. Okay, so this is probably like one of my favorite things that I got. I got the Laneige Gummy Bear Sleeping Mask. And it comes with a little spoon. Also, I know nobody's going to be able to tell, but I kind of got like a little bit of layers. 
like I asked for long layers. I wasn't gonna get like layers, layers. Okay, so if you watch my videos, I've been saying I wanted the big size in this. So I finally got the big size in setting spray. Here's a little size comparison. Okay, so I needed a refill in the Sol de Janeiro perfume, so I got another one because I literally have barely anything in this one. I've also been saying I needed this in the bigger size because I really liked the mini, and so I got the Dew Drops. Here's a size comparison. Okay, so I know I said I didn't like the Rare Beauty blush, but I figured if I got a different shade, it would look better. So I got it in shade Happy. Okay, so I was running out of my Roller Lash Mini Mascara, so I decided to get the big one. Here is another size comparison. So next, I got this Dior foundation, and if you've been watching my account, you know that I like needed a foundation. I also got the um, Kosis foundation because I wanted to try two. And the last thing this haul that I got is the Kosis concealer. And yeah. And I hope you enjoyed the haul. Hey guys, so I was really sad today, and me and my bestie went shopping. So. I did a little damage. Okay, I only got two things, but it was 50 euros. So, but I was sad, so I deserved it, you know. And now I'm happy. Anyways, first I got a sample of this um, Kayali vanilla perfume. And a sample of the um, Sephora foundation. What the fuck. Okay, now the exciting things. Um, first I got this Bioma Moisturizing Rich Cream because I I have this one and I wanted this one because I think it's a little more um, dense. I don't know how to explain it. To use at night. You know, did I explain myself well? Okay, yeah, like it's a little thicker and I really needed a moisturizer to use at night. So. Okay, second thing I'm really excited. Okay, I got the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Blush in the shade Pale Petal. So, let's open it. Okay, I don't want to ruin the packaging. Okay, I'm so excited. Also, I tried the Rare Beauty lip liner on my hand and it literally hasn't budged. And I've tried it like hours ago. Oh my god. Are we ready? I bought the shade because my best friend has it. Like, I haven't, I don't even know, really know what the shade is, but... That's pretty. Oh my god. I'm literally so excited. I'm gonna try this tomorrow. Let's see the brush. Really cute. So, that's what I bought. I initially wanted to buy, like... I just winked at y'all. I wanted to buy um, the Rare Beauty the powder highlighter or the fancy highlighter. The one that Madison Beer uses as blush. But it didn't have any of those. So I was like, I need to buy something. Because I'm sad, so. Whatever. And that's it. Bye, guys. I went to Sephora at the weekend and spent over £300. And I'm going to give you guys a full haul of what is in here. I'm talking exact figures. £335 in Sephora. Let's do this haul. When I tell you I went into that shop and I feel like I blacked out, I don't even know what I came out with. Half of the stuff, I feel like it was all a blur when I bought it. First things first, I did actually buy a couple of the Sephora face masks. I feel like that is such a classic thing when you go into Sephora. I did give a couple of them to my boyfriend's mum. But I kept this one for myself. This is a Sephora glowing vitamin eye mask. It's a vitamin C one, just like this and i think it was like three pound 99 was probably the most cheapest thing that i bought everything else was a bit pricey looking on the skincare this time the priciest item that i bought this is from sunday riley i have been wanting this to be honest to you for quite a while and the woman that worked at sephora was like this is amazing i was like okay instantly i bought it this was 68 pounds i believe but it's a vitamin c face oil it just looks just like this by the way, I do have all of the products on my skin right now and I have a video coming of all of the products um, applied to my skin. But yeah, that is the face oil that I got. Definitely the most expensive thing from this haul. Next is a hair care product. They actually had loads of hair stuff in there. This is from Amica. It cost me £24, I believe. Absolutely love their conditioners. This is the Hydro Rush one. So I'm excited to use this when my horn runs out. I did try to pick up brands that like I've never tried before. But saying that, I did actually pick this up from Benefit. I've just been wanting this for a while. It's their lip and cheek tint. So I picked that up to try. I actually have it on my lips right now as well. This was at £17.50. Next, I got a product from Refi. I've been seeing every single person on my TikTok using this. This is the face primer, you know, the one that's got like a roller to it. So I picked this up to try. I believe this was £24 and it is a glow and sculpt face primer. 
absolutely love this what it looks like just like this there is literally still so much in here i got the paces i'm running out of time i got two spfs we've got the super group one and then this one is from ultraviolet got the closest concealer a brand that i've never tried before i don't think it's even available in the uk until now so i picked that up to try definitely didn't have to get this from sephora but i just thought i'd get it whilst i saw it this is the mac strobe dewy skin tint i think this is fairly new got this as well new sticks got this honestly because of sophia ritchie i've never tried the products before but i'm definitely going to try this and then got some makeup mirror this is the soft sculpt got a rare beauty blush but that was from space and that was my huge sephora haul my sport package came in the mail so let's do a haul okay so i literally ordered so many things and i cannot wait to open it i'm pretty sure the exact amount that i ordered was like seven things and i still have another package that should be coming today but it's on back order so i think it's coming tomorrow so technically eight and then i also have to order something else before friday because there's going to be a very exciting video on friday and it was currently out of stock so i have to buy that i think tonight I'm literally so excited because I literally got everything that I've ever wanted. The reason why I was able to get all this stuff was because I had a Sephora gift card. and had like $250 on it. But you'd actually be surprised. Like everything I got was under $250. Okay, now let's get into everything. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a little glimpse of what I got. I don't even know what to start with because everything's so good. Okay, first thing we're going to start with, I just got the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. This is my all-time favorite serum ever, and I will never stop using this. And by the way, I always get the big one because this runs out so easily for me. Okay, next thing I got was the Cookie Highlighter from Benefit. I have like zero highlighters other than the Rare Beauty Highlighter, and I really wanted a good quality powder highlighter. I wasn't sure if I should get this in Cookie or Tickle, but I just got it in Cookie because it's lighter. Like, are you kidding? That is gorgeous. Next thing I got was the Urban Decay Naked 3 Eyeshadow Palette. All of these colors are literally the best neutrals. And I have my confirmation coming up, so I'm definitely going to do a look with this. Like, those colors on the back are stunning. Okay, next thing I got was the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. This is always sold out whenever I add it in my cart, so I was really happy that I got this. It sold out, I think, within two minutes of it being in my cart. Hopefully, I got the right shade, because I've never, like, matched this to my skin, but this is the one that I got. It's in the shade Light Medium, so hopefully that's good. It's, like, the second to lightest one. I mean, it looks like it's going to match my skin tone, so that's good. Like, the applicator. Oh my god. I can't wait to use this. I also just saw that Rare Beauty came out with lip oil, so I might have to make a new order. Next thing I got was the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. I got this in the shade Hot Chocolate. I'm pretty sure this one went viral on TikTok. I was debating between Hot Chocolate, Glass Slipper, and Sweet Mouth, but I just went with this one because it's literally stunning. I also have, like, nothing this color, and I'm pretty sure that this is also a plumper. So I really want to try this because the only lip plumper that I have is the Too Faced one. And that is literally my favorite one ever. And lastly, probably my favorite item ever. I got both of the Charlotte Tilbury wands. I got the blush in the shade Pinkasm and then I got the contour in the shade Fair Medium. I am so excited to use these. I've never had anything from Charlotte Tilbury before. All of my friends have stuff from them though, so I'm really excited. Make sure to comment if you want to make a look with all of these products. But that was my haul. Love you guys. Bye. Stay tuned for many more Sephora hauls. This is embarrassing. Like, actually. So I walked into Sephora for two things. A new face wash and the Summer Friday's new mint and lip balm or whatever. And I left with a little bit more than that. And so did not leave with the lip balm. And that was, like, the one thing that I really wanted. So, yeah. Anyways, let's do a haul. So the first thing I got is the face wash, the one thing that I actually came for that I needed, and I just ran out of this. This is my third time going to refill this face wash, and when I tell you guys, like, it is the best face wash ever, like, this is what it looks like, the rice wash. I think I've showed it in a haul before, but it is so good, and I'm, like, super acne prone, and this actually clears my acne, like, so quick, and every time I stop using it, I break out, so I swear by this stuff. And then the next thing I got is the Olaplex number 4P. It's just like the toning shampoo for blonde hair because our water sucks and my hair is getting gross. So I really needed that. Okay. And then the next thing I got is from Glow Recipe and it's the Avocado Recovery Serum. And this is really good for like redness, I think. I haven't really seen very many people use it, but I have very sensitive skin. And so I thought that this would be good for like redness and just like overall like skin barrier 
and I have had like really bad acne in the past. Okay, and then the next thing I got is the Brazilian Bum Bum. It's like the glow oil, and this I've actually seen a lot all over, and I've always wanted it. I just like never actually ended up buying it, but this time I bought it, and it, I don't know, I just feel like it's really good for, like, you know when your chest is like paler than your face when you like do a full face of makeup? because that happens to me so i don't know if anyone relates but also will not go back in the box and you can like put it on like your arms and stuff if you're feeling pale and okay then the next thing i got is the rare beauty positive light highlighter and i in the shade exhilarate and it is literally so pretty what the packaging looks like and it's so pretty this is what it looks like like oh my gosh i don't have any powder highlights so i think that this would be a good like over like a cream highlighter just to like set it i think that's what i'm imagining in my head so yeah and then the next thing i got everyone has it's the pillow talk lip liner by charlotte tilbury but yeah so this is just a really good it's like a nude shade this is like the color sort of it's like not too dark not too light but it's kind of like a more natural one and then the last thing that i got is the YSL Candy Glaze and I got it in the shade Flashing Rose and I've seen this like all over TikTok so I had to get it and this is what it oh, this is what it looks like super pretty and this is the shade and then you're just like put it on a little bit and I would say I probably wouldn't wear this on like the actually it could be good for like a daily color but mix between a lipstick and a lip gloss and so, yeah. Really trying to justify what I just did. Definitely did a little bit of damage, but you know, girl math, right? Like if you use this every day, it's like $1, right? I don't know. <laughs> but okay, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Humongous support haul. I did that. First thing I got, little touch of set i didn't know it was a mini for some reason i thought this was a full size for 27 dollars. that's how delusional i am but it's the minis and i'm gonna use these anyways next refi i thought this was a sculpt set as in a new contour set and the sculpt is the mini brow but how cute is this it's so tiny get the comb and then you get the mini highlight face mask six dollars each favorite fenty skin product is their melt away a restock I was just so pretty, I had to get it. Look at the, look at the sparkle. This is the original, that's the sparkle. Hmm, so pretty. Next, I got a restock on one of my favorite balm products. The After Balm from Glossier. Boom. Thick paste for your hands and feet at night. I love this, I've already gone through a full one of these. Restock, it's so good. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner from Way. So I just got a restock on this. And I bought a candle, I did not need another candle but i saw this one and it got me i love boy smells this one smells like a, a very unique version of peach and i love the um chrome packaging <laughs> a mini dream coat you know everybody uses this but it makes your hair so silky a restock of my nars concealer but they didn't have my shade but i got one a shade lighter i went 2.75 best concealer on the market I also got the Mario concealer because, come on, you know. I got this one in the shade 220. I think it's going to be promising. Um, ran out of my super group facial sunscreen. I like this one, not under makeup, just worn by itself whenever I'm in the sun, but it's fabulous, so I got a restock. Then I bought the uh, super group balm. Let's get sunburn. If I'm out in the sun for a long time. So I wanted this clear, like tacky balm to stick to my lips so they wouldn't burn. Okay, this is bougie. $75. Dr. Dennis Gross and their stuff is like by dermatologist, so I trust it more. And this is their fill and repair serum. I do not know exactly what this does. Okay. I just know it's going to do something. It's going to give me something. Okay, then I got, not that. Oh, I got a mini fragrance from Nest. I love Nest fragrances. They're so like dark and strong and delicious. So y'all told me this one's really good. It's called Black Tulip. This, I did not realize it was $80. Did y'all know that Drunk Elf Baby Facial was $80? But come with this little mini facial that is so cute honestly take my money drunk 
to be like resurfacing. So you only leave it on for like two or three minutes. I used this in the past. I remember liking it. So I bought it. I bought this bougie sunscreen from Shiseido. Lastly, I just got this Dermalogica Milk Sfoliant as a, I have not tried this one specifically, but I've tried the original. It's really good. So I got that. And that's everything. Love you guys. We are back again with another Sephora haul. So let's get into what damage I did this time at Sephora. This first is this Shani Darden. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Cleansing serum. I was recommended this by multiple Sephora employees. So I'm praying that it is super good. The next item I got is the Dr. Dennis Gross exfoliating pads, but these are the ultra gentle formula because my skin is super, super, super sensitive. So I'm hoping it works. I also got some brush cleaner. I got the one from Beauty Blender and I feel like I almost used half of the bottle trying to wash all of my brushes because I washed them like four times. So I heard this one's better. We'll see if it's better. I'm praying that it's better. We also got the Shawnee Darden Retinol Reform. I have never used a retinol, but the girl at Sephora was telling me it was good, so I was like, why not? Then I also got the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Peppermint. I ran out of my lip sleeping mask, and I was like, this is the time. They're coming out with the Christmas flavors. I think this is a Christmas flavor. I don't know. I'm going to go with it. Then we also got the Tower 28 Mascara. I've heard great things about this brand. I've always wanted to try it out because I get dermatitis on my face and they're good for people who are prone to eczema. So I'm hoping that that is a good mascara. I also got the House Labs Lip Oil in Primary and the Shawnee Darden Intensive Eye Renewal Cream for my under eyes. That is really where I had the biggest reaction last time. So I'm like praying that this one works because my under eyes right now are really itchy. Like if I could just like, I probably would. I got another Shani Darden product. It is her hydrating peptide serum. So we're really praying that this works. I felt it on my hand in the store and I really liked it. And then the last item that I got is the House Labs Foundation Brush because I tried it with my brush and Beauty Blender and I really, really like the formula and it does blend well, but I've heard that this brush was like made just for that formula of foundation. So I was like, I gotta try it out see if it works better because you know might as well i don't know i just decided to do it so that is everything that i got from sephora i hope that y'all enjoy this little haul because i enjoyed showing it to you and i hope that you guys have a great day bye sephora sent me a package this big of products for the annual employee gift and let's open it with me i'm gonna try to show you some things okay it's literally a lot of products and a lot of stuff i don't even know how i'm gonna do this this is gonna have to be really quick and if you want me to do a separate video with a specific products just let me know in the comments oh why body scrub saw the Janeiro set in his free hyaluronic acid serum patrick tally plumping gloss kira stars full size hair oil Pink Reserve uh, Sparkling Sugar Perfume, so good. Give to People Cleanser, Shelly Tilbury Spray, um, Paula's Choice Exfoliating. We have a lot of hair stuff, dry shampoo, um, like a lot of things. When I say I'm packed with setting sprays for life, I'm not joking. Also, my skin is never gonna be dry again and the drunk elephant as well more moisturizer every time i find more stuff got some more perfumes more of skincare it's like literally all my favorite brands i received this yesterday and i when i tell you it was the best day of my life just found another perfume Kiara's. A Gucci mascara, like a red beauty one, all my favorites. Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, milk blush, say blush. I'm obsessed. Hair oil, there's also this one. Lip products that who knows me knows I am obsessed with lip products, plumping glasses, everything. And there's also the Tarte one. Wait. Okay, two more lip products. The Tarte one and the makeup by Mario Kit. Lip liner, we have the House Labs, I'm wearing it right now. Rare Beauty and Makeup Forever. 
Anastasia Brow Wax. More hair products. This Natasha Denona kit, a beauty blender. You have to protect the skin, so of course they also sent me two sunscreens. Bronzer and another blush from Nelia. Eyeshadow palette that is so cute from Kaja. Kaja. Laura Mercier translucent powder. More mascaras and lash serum. And lastly, the Sephora collection cleansing wipes. Okay, I placed all the products out so you could see better. And this is like this best day of my life. Like nothing compares to this. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush. I placed a $200 Sephora order, so let's get into it. So I've been spending way too much money at Sephora lately, but it makes me happy, so let's do it. Okay, I actually forget everything that's in here. Is that bad? Oh my gosh. Okay, first glance at box number one. Okay, first up, we have the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Stick. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I bought this because of the packaging. I mean, blue is my favorite color, and... <gasps> Stop. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, do you see this? Do you see that? Like, I'm not too sure how this, like, works. So open it. Is there a little thing on top? Hold on one sec. Okay, I got it. It's a twist up and it's so pretty guys. And you can like put it on your face and it's supposed to like depuff your eyes in the morning. Um, I honestly just like it for the looks and I'm gonna use it obviously, but I actually love this. It matches my room too. Okay, next up we have the Cap on D Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. So I was so freaking excited to get this. Um, I actually got the sample, one sec. Okay, it looks looks kind of nasty but i got this in one of my previous sephora orders and i used the lightest shade i think it's light 10 i don't know i'll check but i think it is i love this i mean it's it's like a cream foundation it's not a liquid foundation but it's also not a powder it's like in the middle um and i love it so i ordered one in the full size okay i don't know how i didn't see that there's the shade it's light zero ten. Let's open it. Hold on. Okay, this is so pretty. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to use it. Okay, I almost missed this, but this is the Sephora brand lip liner in the shade Rosewood. And I think this is such a stunning color. I cannot wait to try this. Okay, now we're on to the freebies. Okay, first up, we have this Sephora perfume sampler kit. Um, because it's almost Valentine's Day, they came out with this crazy kit with like so many samples. And it also has a NARS lip gloss. Sorry, I actually think it's a lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna open it. <gasps> I'm gonna show you all the scents. Okay, first we have Prada Paradox, I think. Oh yeah, black opium, love it. Um, next is Lancome La Via Belle. I have not tried this, so I'm excited to. Ooh, okay, next is Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. I have not tried this either. Next we have Clean Reserve Aqua Neroli. Okay, no way, I'm so excited. Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar, I've been wanting to try this. The Classic Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, Paco Rabanne Fame. Carolina Herrera Bad Boy. And finally, the long-awaited NARS Lip Balm in the shade Laguna. Go to part two! <laughs> Sephora! So for Christmas, my aunt gave me a $50 gift card, so yeah, we went to Sephora. This isn't mine, but it's a gift from my cousin. We got her the Sol de Janeiro like little kit. Oh my gosh, I like tried it for the first time, like the samples, they smell so good. Oh my gosh, so good. But on to my goodies. Okay, I got three things from there. Okay, now I'm debating whether to do like a makeup look right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. First, I got the mini Kosas concealer. I don't have a like a good concealer, so I didn't want to buy like the big one just yet. I wanted like to see if I really like this one, so I got the tiny one. Oh my gosh, I cannot open it. But, yeah, hopefully it's good. <gasps> Look how cute! Okay, I'm gonna test it out right now. This is the shade 4N. I did watch some TikTok videos, like, how to apply it, because some require a s moist sponge, but lots of people have been saying, don't use a moist sponge for this one. Okay, on to blending. Okay, that's some good coverage. I like. 
Next thing, I got the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I would never think that I was going to get this because it's so expensive, but I got the mini version again. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like. There's like a protective film on it, so I'm going to take that off. Oh, wow. Um, I think I'm going to watch a video on how to use this. Okay, I got some powder in. I don't have the right brush, but I have this brush, and so this is going to have to do. And I see people just, like, rub it on their, like, things. I don't know. Please do not come at me for, like, doing something wrong, because I have no idea. But I will learn eventually. My under eyes are definitely not dark anymore. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup that I usually do, and then I'm going to show you the last thing I got. I'm hoping this is, like, the trust the process type of deal. Okay, I did the rest of my makeup, and it's looking so good. Like, my eyes are just so much more bright. Er okay, let's do the final thing I got. I got a Sephora eyeshadow palette. Okay. This is the one, it's called the Destinations one, and it has these beautiful colors. For today's look, I think I'm going to do the blue on my waterline, and then I'm going to put some little liner. I'm going to be using this thin brush and like put it where my waterline is, like that blue color. Just like that. Here's the final look. It looks like really, it's just like a small added change, but it made my eyes a little more pop. Here's a closer look of what I did. I just did a little bit of liner, but then I put the eyeshadow on my waterline. Have a great day, and if you're watching this on a Friday, have a great weekend. If you're watching this on Saturday, have a great weekend, and overall, just have a great weekend. Bye!